what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a squad builder featuring, as you can see above my head, the Deadly Front 3. Now I've put a squad together featuring uh, a few different TOTS players and there's a legend as well. Uh, I've purposefully not told you who these players are in the thumbnail, in the title. I wonder if before we get this video started properly, if you could guess in the comments section which of the three players I'm using up front. The left forward, the right forward and the striker. Let me know down below in the comments. Don't cheat. Do not cheat. Now in goal today, we have got Leno, who is one of the better goalies on this game. Uh, he's got a couple of special items as well if you uh, have the coins to buy them. Uh, Ramos comes in at centre-back today. We've got three really awesome centre-backs. Very high rated, very, very good and solid on this game. Sergio Ramos, Thiago Silva right there. Again, both of these players have got team of the years, I think, uh, and informs along the way as well. So if you're on a bigger budget than me, then go ahead, pick them up, and they will only strengthen your team. We then have this guy, Jonathan Tarr, who is six foot four and a top centre back. He's really good, 83 rated with 85 defending, 84 physical. He plays extremely similar to Jerome Boateng. So uh, rather than using him, which is something I do very often, I thought I would use Tarr. Now the midfield has a blue player in it and a couple of other decent players. We've got Jesse Rodriguez out on the left hand side, who is a perfect link to Sergio Ramos. That's what we needed. And then we've got another perfect link between Thiago Silva and uh, Lucas Mora coming into the squad. He's 82 rated. Both of these players are very, very quick. Very good dribbling and four-star skill moves. That's the sort of wingers I like on my game. Uh, and then in the midfield, we've got a couple of Germans to link up with uh, the defender, Tarr. Uh, Leon Goretzka, this is an upgrade item. And then uh, he, he's pretty good. Four-star skills and weak foot. Six foot something as well. And then team of the season, Dahoud, who... For some reason, turned into a bit of a uh, heading god. His aerial presence was ridiculous from corners, even though he's only 5 foot 10. He doesn't look like he's got great uh, heading ability. This is the front three. Did you guess it right? I guess most of you did because I uh, I left the nation and stuff in there for you to guess. But we've got team of the season Oleg Shatov coming into uh, the side at left forward. One of the funnier names on the game, I guess. But he's 87 rated with some crazy, crazy stats. We've then got 90 rated George Best, who is ridiculous. Look at it. 90 pace, 94 dribbling, 89 shooting, 81 passing. He's got four star skill moves and weak foot as well. So Shatov and Best as our really sort of tricky dribblers and wingers uh, with this guy up front six foot four Zuba Zayuba how do you pronounce that name someone let me know down below in the comments if you are Russian or know how to pronounce his name but that's a pretty crazy strike force like a really good trio of two tricky wingers and then one big target man up front uh, Zuba or Zayuba however you say his name is definitely someone I wanted to feature as a a cheaper player for you guys to be able to buy uh, I'm gonna do an in-depth player review for you over on the footwiz channel click up in the top right corner if you'd like to go and sub over there for four um, player reviews every single week so there'll be an annotation there'll be a card on your screens as well uh, but getting into the clips I scored a lot of goals I played like a 11 games with this team and weirdly enough I scored like serious amounts of headers from corners look at all of these going in and I've left some of some of them out because I wanted to show you that I was scoring a lot but you know they're not the greatest goals in the world for you guys to view um so I left some of them out but I scored a hell of a lot of headers Dahoud got a lot of them Sergio Ramos got a lot of them as well he's ridiculous in the air even though he's not massive uh, he's just got good jumping and stuff and now we're on to the goals with Shatov. Now, Shatov is one of the most impressive tot swingers I've used on this game. He's absolutely rapid. Um noticeably quick and there's a couple of goals which really demonstrate that he's got great shooting good passing as well um, but there's a couple of goals where I almost take like the long route round and still beat the defender for pace and then cut inside again and have enough room to slot the ball home this goal in particular look at this I just run past absolutely everyone they're sort of starting to try and catch me are they thinking I'm gonna cut inside but it was just a diagonal sprint, which no one was going to catch me. And then he's got the finishing ability to stick it in the back of the net. I was extremely impressed with him. And then he's got like long shots and stuff in his locker as well. A great goal from a great player. Uh, highly recommend him. When I'm making this video, he was around sort of 75k when I sold him. Um, and I bought him for a little bit more than that. So hopefully, uh, you know, his price is coming down. And enough for you guys to be able to pick him up. If not... Uh, he's got a very cheap inform, which again is very good, and his regular item is pretty solid as well. Uh, now we get on to our main striker, Zayuba, Zuba. 
I'm going to say both of those names every time I try and say his name, just in case one of them's right. Um, you've got a monster here. I didn't start off particularly amazing with him. It took me a little while to get used to him, but... He's this brute of a player with 99 strength. So uh, he can just barge people off the ball. He certainly isn't losing the ball when he's in possession of it. Uh, and if he does, there was a clip a moment ago where he just takes it back, takes it back, runs through and scores. He's got one of the hardest shots I've ever seen. Uh, ridiculous shot power on him. And he's just like a, a bit of a beast, like winning headers in the air and stuff like that. The perfect target man to have with two very tricky wingers. Um... And then we get onto the goals that I scored with George Best. Like I scored a lot of goals with this front three, and they all combined so very well. Uh, George Best is insane. I'm so I, I'm annoyed that I haven't used him sooner this year. Uh, but of course, if you wanted to, I think you can actually use the regular version of like Hulk in this team, and he will get enough chemistry from Lucas Mora and from Zuber up front. Uh, if you don't have the coins for Best, he's like seven hundred thousand, so he's a lot of the coins in this team, or six hundred and fifty something like that. A tidy little goal against someone who wasn't really playing, I guess, in that particular game. I had this ridiculous scoring match where we were both just scoring own goals. Uh, because, well, my opponent was scoring own goals. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to match it and try and have an even game. But eventually, I don't know, we played in the end. But this, this final goal of the video is one of the best I've scored in a long time. And I think it's worthy of a like on the video. So if you wouldn't mind smashing a like for a George Best volley, that would be awesome. Subscribe if you are new. I hope you have a great day. And I will catch you tomorrow with an episode of The Random pick. Cheers guys. Peace.